I, this would be somebody who's done this before um, in other contexts. Twice in two years, the Sea to Sky gondola's cables were cut. On both occasions, the vandal or vandals struck in the dead of night during high tourist season and seemingly left no trace. You, know, you, you don't just shimmy up um, a, a tower and start hacking away whatever there is in sight. You, you, whoever did it, whoever was behind it knew where the weak points were. Rob Gordon is an SFU criminologist and says it's difficult to form a criminal profile from just two incidents, but believes the perpetrator is either a disgruntled employee or a member of an eco-terrorist group. So far, authorities have been extremely tight-lipped when it comes to a possible motive or suspect. Then it has to be somebody who knows enough about the structures and their weak points to be able to actually strike hard and fast and very effectively at great cost to the company and to the company's insurance. And these are unique and incredibly rare events, so to happen to happen twice speaks more to the motivation of the person who wants to bring this team, this company, and this community to its knees. The first attack on the gondola was August 19th, 2019. After that act of vandalism, General Manager Kirby Brown said a new state-of-the-art security system was installed to ensure the gondola was protected from any future criminal activity. When it comes to making an arrest, Gordon doesn't foresee the additional technology as being the reason they'll have a break in the case. It's kinds of cases you rely upon informants. So somebody points the finger at somebody else and then you start to piece together the jigsaw. Gordon concedes the crime in Squamish doesn't quite fit the mold of an eco-terrorist attack, as he says typically with environmental terrorism comes an announcement taking credit for the act and explaining why the act was done. But he believes the person or people who cut the cables have worked with the unique material before. I, this would be somebody who's done this before in other contexts and more than last year has actually um, been involved in this sort of activity, either from a work point of view, uh, so there are people who know how to lay the cables, um, or from an eco-terrorist point of view. The first time cables were cut, damages were estimated at up to $10 million. In New Westminster, Ashley Burr, City News.